Um, how do we fall when we black out or become unconscious? Hmm. I just upgraded to this Galaxy Watch 5 and was exploring its features and settings. I noticed an interesting hard fall detection feature on the Galaxy Watch 5, where the watch uses its accelerometer to detect the person wearing the watch just had an accident or a fall, and then it will automatically send a get help text message to their emergency contact. I wonder if this feature actually works, so I've decided to give it a real world test. Ta da! Hi everyone! Welcome to another Sky Perspective video. So I have my Galaxy Note 10 here. This will be my next of kin or emergency contact phone. When my Galaxy Watch 5 detects my fall later on, this phone should receive the emergency notification or phone call. My Galaxy Watch 5 is connected to my Galaxy Z Fold 4 over here. Let's set up this hard fall detection on my Galaxy wearable app. This feature is not on by default, so we need to set it up. First, we'll go into Watch Settings. Look for Safety and Emergency. In this section, we can enter our medical info. This info is available to rescue personnel in case of an emergency. The next menu, Emergency Contact, is the place where we can set up our next of kin phone number. Let's add a member and look for my Galaxy Note 10 phone. And here it is. So now my Galaxy Note 10 will get the emergency sharing notification. If we read this emergency contact instruction, it says they will be contacted if you start emergency sharing. In the emergency sharing function, we can choose if we want to attach pictures. During the emergency, the phone will take photos using both the front and rear cameras and send it to my emergency contact, which is my Galaxy Note 10 phone. We can also choose to send 5 seconds of audio during that emergency. Let's enable both of them. And when we start the process of emergency sharing, so over the next 24 hours, the phone will send the phone's location low battery warning, photos of the front and back cameras, and 5 seconds audio recording. Let's test this out. If I have set this up correctly, my Galaxy Note 10 should now receive the emergency sharing notifications. And here they come. The two photos from the cameras, 5 seconds audio, and Google Map location. So after we have our emergency contact set up, all we need to do now is to turn on the hard fall detection. We can do this on the phone or on the Galaxy Watch 5 itself. Oh, but first, we have to grant permission to the SOS function. Okay, now it's all set up and ready to go. Let's have some fun. I'll leave both my phones here for you to see the notification coming in or you can see the bigger screen recordings here. And here comes the fall. Nope, nothing on my watch. And it seems like the watch didn't detect the fall. Maybe the watch detects my heart is still beating, so that's not really an emergency. No, just kidding. And nope, nothing on both the phones. Let's try another fall. This time I'm going to face plant. Nope, still nothing. At this stage, I'm thinking maybe my fall is not hard enough. It's supposed to be a hard fall detection. I'm going to throw myself onto the floor so the watch accelerometer can really get a sharp and fast descent. And nope. Still nothing, nothing, nothing. By this time, it's getting a little bit silly. I even tried to lie still for one minute, just in case the watch had a delay send function, just to make sure we really had a fall and were unconscious. And it still doesn't work. I even verified that the settings are still on. And yes, the setting is on. 
Thinking there must be something wrong with the settings, I investigated a bit more the next day. And indeed, there are more settings in the hard fall detection menu, which I didn't know about yesterday. I wished the menu would prompt me when I'm turning it on yesterday. Something for you to take note of if you are setting this up. It was set to detect a fall during physical activity. Let me set this to always detect a fall and try again. I'm going to test this one last time and call it a day if it doesn't work. And this time, I'm going to try to simulate a real fall by just falling and lying there motionless for one minute. I'm not going to try to throw myself hard on the floor because this is not natural. When someone has a fall, they will try to brace themselves instead of throwing themselves down harder. So I've been lying there motionless for about 20 seconds. And you know what? At about 30 seconds mark, the watch finally detected the possibility of a fall. And I got this fall detected message. I swiped the option to get help and the SOS message was sent to my phone. Let me grab my Galaxy Note 10 to show you. And while I was grabbing my phone, the Google Map location message came in too. So here it is, the SOS message and the Google Map location message. According to the instructions, we have 60 seconds to cancel the fall detection alert or send the SOS message right away, which is what I did. If I had been lying there motionless for 60 seconds without selecting the get help option, the watch would automatically send the SMS message. Overall, I think Samsung did a great job implementing this fall detection feature. I just wished the menu would prompt me. There are more settings underneath. Apart from sending emergency messages when the watch detects a fall, we can also manually trigger the sending of the SOS messages, like when we are in a dangerous or a panic situation. That's a different menu, called the SOS with Home Key. So if I enable this SOS with Home Key function and by pressing the home key three consecutive times, this should trigger the emergency sharing to happen. So here goes, pressing the home key three times on my Galaxy Watch. And yep, the SOS is triggered. And now my Galaxy Watch is sending the message to my Note 10 phone. And this is how the message looks like. It says, I need emergency help. And here comes the second message, which is the Google Map location of where my watch is. My watch will keep sharing my location every 15 minutes from now on for the next 24 hours until I press this stop sharing button. Samsung made it really easy for us to get help and share our current location. I can imagine this can be very handy or might even save our lives when we are in danger. Just need to press the home key three times. If you find this video useful, help me subscribe to grow the channel so I can make more videos for you. I try to cover specific topics of my personal tech gear I buy for myself, like this one. Apart from the Galaxy Watch, these are some of the popular videos on my Galaxy earbuds. Thanks for watching. You take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.